Chapter 8, Lesson 7, Surface Area of Pyramids. Today we're going to talk about the surface area of pyramids. We are going to discuss what the slant height is and the lateral surface area. Slant height is the height of each lateral face in a square pyramid. And the lateral surface area is the sum of all those areas of the lateral faces. A regular pyramid is a pyramid with a base that is a regular polygon. So here we have a model of our square, regular square pyramid. Our base is a square. Our lateral face are the sides, right? And slant height, it's the height of one of those sides. And it's called a slant height because when we look at it, at the face, it's slanted. But it's the height of that face. Now, the way we find our lateral area is we take one half times the perimeter of the base times our slant height, which is a lowercase l. To find our surface area, it's actually the lateral area plus the area of the base. Or more simply, capital B plus one half capital P L, or area of the base plus one half perimeter slant height. And we're going to be using this formula. Find the total surface area of the pyramid round to the nearest tenth. First of all, that's our slant height. This is our base and height of our actual base, which is a square. Or right, uh, yep, a square. Okay. First thing we need to do is always find the perimeter. The perimeter, it's referring to the base. In this case, all four sides are four. So four plus four plus four plus four. The perimeter is 16 inches. You need to find the perimeter before actually plugging into your surface area formula. Surface area is area of the base plus the lateral area. Surface area equals the area of the base. It is a square, so it's just base times height. Plus, and our lateral area is one half perimeter times slant height, which was shown on the previous slide. And all we do from here is plug it in. So surface area equals base and height are each four. You can use 0.5 for one half. The perimeter is 16. And the slant height is nine. Use your calculators. Well, four times four, I can do in my head that 16 plus 0.5 times 16 times 9 is 72. Add them together. The surface area is 88 inches squared. It is area, so we square it. Letter B. Find the total surface area of a pyramid with a base area of 111. So this time they actually give us capital B. But we need to find the perimeter of the base. We have a triangle and it gives us all three side lengths. 16 plus 16 plus 16. Our perimeter is 48 meters. Now we can go to our surface area formula. Capital B plus our lateral area. Surface area equals. Well, they gave us our area of the base, so we don't need a formula. Plus the lateral area is one half perimeter slant height. Surface area equals, I know the area of the base is 111 plus 0 0.5. Perimeter is 48. And which one is the slant like height in our diagram? Got right here, 20. Surface area equals 111 plus Plug it in your calculator. You get 480. Add them up. You get 591 meters squared.
Letter C. Find the total surface area of the pyramid, round to the nearest tenth. Again, we need to find the perimeter. Here's our base. Looks like this side is 10, this side is 10, and this side is 10. So 10 plus 10 plus 10. Our perimeter is 30 feet. Okay, our slant height is 12 feet. If I'm looking at the base, okay, one dimension is 10 and the height is 8.7. I just like to label everything before using my formula so that when I get to my formula, I just have to plug them all in. So surface area equals area of the base plus lateral area. Surface area equals what shape is the base? It's a triangle. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. And then the area or the formula for lateral area is one half perimeter slant height. Just plug them in. Surface area equals 0 0.5 times 10 times 8.7 plus 0 0.5 times the perimeter, which is 30, times the slant height, which is 12. Use your calculator. Surface area equals this section is 43.5 plus 180. Add them together. Surface area is 223.5 feet squared. It's already to the nearest tenth, so we don't have to do any extra steps. Letter D. Find the surface area of a square pyramid. That's important. We know the base is a square. It has a slant height of 8 and a base length of 5. Because it's a square, I know the height of the square is also 5. If we're talking about perimeter of a square, I know that all four sides are the same. So perimeter is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Perimeter is 20 centimeters. Now let's go to our formula. Surface area equals area of the base plus lateral area. Surface area equals our base is a square. So the area formula for a square is base times height. Plus, and our lateral area stays the same. One half times the perimeter times the slant height. You have all your variables, so pl just plug them in. Surface area equals 5 times 5 plus 0 0.5 times 20 times 8. Remember, slant height is L. Surface area equals 5 times 5 is 25. 0.5 times 20 times 8 is 80. Add them up. We get a surface area of 105 centimeters squared. Letter E, find the total surface area of the pyramid shown, round to the nearest tenth. Again, we need our perimeter. We've got 12, 12, and 12. They won't always be the same, which is 36 meters. So we have our perimeter. This is our slant height. The base of our triangle is 12, and I'm talking about the bottom part, the base, and the one length is 12, and the height is 10.4. Surface area equals area of the base plus lateral area. Surface area equals the base is a triangle, so one half base times height plus, and this is still one half PF. Surface area equals 0 0.5 times 12 times 10.4 plus 0 0.5 times 36 times 15. And all I did, where I that's why I label ahead of time, base, height, slant height, perimeter. 
surface area equals 62.4 plus 270. Add them together. You get 332.4 meters squared. Last one. Sal is wrapping gift boxes that are square pyramids for a party. They have a slant height of 3 and base edges of 2.5. Because it's a square, the base and the height are both 2.5. How many square inches of cardstock are used to make one gift box? Again, if I have a square and the, base, the edges are all 2.5, to find the perimeter, 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5. Perimeter equals 10, we are talking about inches. And so I'll just write that up here. Now we can find our surface area. Area of the base plus the lateral area. Surface area equals, it's a square, so the formula is base times height, plus, and this one's still the same, one half perimeter slant height. Plug in the information to the left. Surface area equals 2.5 times 2.5 plus 0 0.5 times perimeter of 10, slant height of 3. 2.5 times 2.5 is 6.25, plus 0.5 times 10 times 3 is 15. So the surface area equals 12.5 inches squared. Oops, actually, I take that back. Put the wrong thing in my calculator. It's 21.25. However, we have to round to the nearest tenth. So 21.3 inches squared. There we go. That's it.